Hi everybody. This is an HP TX1217CL TX1000 series. And yes, it is busted. Watch. Wee! See the little lights turn on, it doesn't post. That's because these laptops have a really crappy problem with their chipset. So today we're going to fix this with nothing more than a heat light, some thermal compound, a penny, and some screwdrivers. So let's take this bad boy apart and then fix it for good. Alright, we've now gotten the entire laptop taken apart. It's in like a million pieces over here. So you can see everything's all over the place. No, I don't use static bags because we don't do we don't roll like that over here. But what we do have is a piece of cardboard with some tin foil on it. And what we do is the goal is to take this right here on the opposite side, this area right here put this over the hole on the underside of the chip and then use this heat lamp right here and cook it and we're gonna cook it for probably about two minutes maybe a little bit more just to get everything nice and hot because the soldering on this chip I don't know my camera is no good but there's soldering around the edges of this chip and on the bottom and it's come uh, unsoldered because of the heat that this motherboard generates it's an HP defect and uh, they haven't owned up to fixing it so we do it ourselves with a heat lamp so now that we have this we're gonna go ahead and get the actual treatment as you would say going okay we got everything ready to go and now I'm gonna set the timer oh, I got it. you can't touch it I got it okay it's already going because my wife's baking a cake yummy anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and cook it so we're now cooking the motherboard for about two minutes and uh, when this is all over and said we're done with we should have a working machine so to prevent boring you to death I will stop now and return back later okay are you bringing the oh gosh it's burning all right Hello? all right all right, we've cooked it. Now we're going to go ahead and press this down really well to get the solder back in place. It's really hot, but you need to hold it for about a minute, maybe a little bit more. I'll go ahead and skip this part now so you can see the next segment. Okay, uh, now we're going to go ahead and grease up the proc and the GPU so we have a little bit of thermal compound here we're going to apply a penny because the penny actually connects the heat sink for the GPU to the actual chip acts as a bridge we also have some silver thermal compound on the processor you use better stuff so that way it doesn't die again and now it's time to put everything back together so we'll start putting everything back together so after all that getting the cardboard and the tin foil and the heat lamp and all that stuff and cooking this motherboard and putting it all back together this system does work now Ta da It's as easy as that. Everything's back to normal.